if you've ever wondered what it's really like to own a rental property, if you've ever wondered what the actual costs are going to be over the long term, you're going to want to tune into today's show, AHS Consulting. This is for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and uh, what we do on Holton Wise TV, folks, we combine real deals. This is a real property that's really for sale, listed by a company called Plum Tree Realty. We provide real deals with real real estate investors. I'm working with some clients of mine, AHS Consulting. These are a uh, company, these are a few folks uh, out of New Jersey, right? They're trying to build a real estate portfolio in the Cleveland market. And you guys are interested in multifamily. Uh, you were interested in uh, you know, either using traditional financing or doing some Burr deals. We have a little bit more uh, Burr inventory. By the way, Burr, if anybody doesn't know what that means, that's uh, a B and four R's, okay? Buy, uh, I'm sorry, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, okay? It's an investment strategy that allows you to take a certain amount of money and uh, recycle it over and over and over again. We've got many videos on that. So if you have X amount of dollars and you'd like me to show you how to turn X amount of dollars into, you know, I could essentially show you how to turn $100,000 cash into a million dollar real estate portfolio. Uh, do some Google searches on all of our Burr stuff, right? Just Burr, Holton Wise, and you'll see a ton of stuff. So we have a lot more properties that would be apt for that strategy, which you guys are interested in. But a lot of those are single family properties, not as many multifamily properties, right? With multifamily, you're less likely to be a distressed seller, right? That strategy requires a distressed seller because when a single family property goes empty, well, guess what? There's no money going in, right? When one tenant screws over a landlord on a multifamily property, the landlord still has the other tenant paying rent, right? So their economy of scale kind of makes them a little safer. That is one of the reasons why you don't see as much multifamily bird deals, right? Not as many people are distressed. And then uh, the second reason for that, of course, is there's just less inventory. There's more single-family homes that were built than multifamily homes. So I sent you guys a uh, single-family bird deal on the last video. You guys liked the video. You thanked me for the video. Uh, but you did what we do here on this show. You gave me feedback and, uh, you know, kind of instructed me to switch gears for you on the next video, right? That's what we do. That's why you guys buy the big packages. I think you guys bought a 10 property package for me, 10 videos, right? I'm going to analyze 10 properties for you. Doesn't mean all 10 are going to be home runs. Doesn't mean all 10 are going to be deals that you do. It's a, it's a process, right? It's a back and forth. Ain't by telling you this shit's easy and uh, you're just going to make all this money and every property is this big producer and like Cleveland's the land of fucking milk and honey and we just have all these houses just sitting there waiting for all you guys at home on fucking YouTube like, hey, come fucking collect all this money. No, it's not like that, right? It's 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 hard. It's tough. We got to do a lot of due diligence. We got to look at a lot of properties. So that's why we go back and forth, right? So you guys, after uh, the last video, you gave me your feedback and you're like, hey, man, that's great, but let's stick towards the multifamily route. We prefer... You know, multifamily, right? You give me two things on your wish list, right? One is being able to use the Burr strategy. The other is it being a multifamily property. And then when, you know, we realized we couldn't get both at that time, which one is more important for you guys? It's the fact that the property is going to be multifamily, which is what led me to this deal. 7920 Lorraine Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Listed a little bit over a week ago, 12 days on the market, okay? But I think it's overpriced. It is listed at $74,900. I do not want to see you guys pay $74,900. I think that is overpriced. It is a, a duplex, all right? The property itself has a few negatives okay now one thing to note why we have the bathroom pulled up this is a dated bathroom we do have two tenants in there already the tenants are paying five hundred dollars and five hundred fifty dollars a month so it's bringing in one thousand fifty a month or twelve thousand six hundred a year which leads me 
uh, to my first negative on the property, okay? Each unit is a 1-1. One, one. So our market rent will always be a little bit lower. This rent currently is actually a little lower than market rent. Market rent for each of these units will be 600. So over the long haul, you can anticipate 1200 a month coming in. Now, why I want to talk about this bathroom and negatives is this bathroom is a dated bathroom. So by the time we actually get to market, unless we could slowly work the existing tenant up, to get a $600 a month tenant into this unit, we're eventually going to have to do a unit turnover if they don't increase the rent. And when we do, we're going to have to spend a few grand in this bathroom sprucing it up, right? We're going to need to reglaze this, swap this out with a, a current one, swap that out with the current one, probably swap out the toilet with the new one because we're going to be doing the floor anyway, right? Going to put a nice vinyl floor, right? You're probably going to spend a few grand, right? So know that that turnover is eventually coming. So we do have some dated stuff, but the biggest thing here is the fact that both these units are that one bed, one bed. But here's the deal. A lot of the duplexes in the Cleveland market, you know, we're, we get those nice two-bed, one-bath duplexes. We're selling them for around $100,000 right now. This is listed at $74,900, and I do not want you to pay $74,900. I'm going to give you a valuation even lower than that. So that's what it's all about, right? You know, it's not like, hey, are two-bedroom units better than one-bedroom units? There, there's not necessarily a better. There's pros and cons to everything, right? You know, a pro to two-bedroom units is they bring in more rent. A pro to two-bedroom units is typically the tenants living in two-bedroom units stay longer. A con is a two-bedroom unit is going to be more expensive, right? I ain't going to have you pay 75 for this property. I ain't going to have you pay 100 for this property. So the fact that this property is cheaper, that's a pro. Uh, another, um, another con one could see with a two-bedroom unit uh, versus a one-bedroom unit would be your utility cost is typically going to be a little bit higher because you typically have more people living in a two-bedroom unit than a one-bedroom unit, so your water bills may be higher. For the purposes of this show, I still estimated your water bill the same as I do a two-bedroom unit because I like to give you guys nice conservative investments to give you guys a nice breakdown of what you can really expect, but that is also something you can think about, right? Just, you know, everything, right? There's no perfect property in the world for every Every pro, there's a con, right? I just want to give you guys the most complete picture into what you're buying, right? So, again, just more of this unit, right? It's it's totally fine. It's totally workable. Nothing wrong with what we're seeing here. I just want you guys to know that by the time we do get you to that 1,200, right, there's going to be some work done to these units, right? Here's the other unit's bathroom, right? Again, this is dated. You know, this is the tenant paying 550 Nothing wrong with this. Totally workable. They're in there paying 550 but when they move out, I don't want you to think that uh, we don't have to go in there and replace this old looking floor, replace this old vanity, right? If you want that market rent, we got to spruce it up, right? But these tenants, I believe they've both been there for quite a while. And then the rest of it, it's in pretty good shape. We'll just do, uh, you know, removal of the carpets, put some, uh, you know, refinish the hardwoods or put some vinyl down if there's not. Probably remove things like the ceiling fan. You don't want stuff for the tenants to hang on, right? That's how you get more costs. You know, things break. You got to harden your properties. Here's the unfinished attic space. Just, you know, it'd be nothing but storage. Okay, here's one of the kitchens. That's a pretty good kitchen. And that's the photo. So let's talk about the price now, right? I've told you what it's not worth. What do I think it's worth? 60 G's, okay? I think this thing is worth 60 G's. I want to try to get this for you for 60000 And even though I talked about things we'll need to do at the turnover, we don't need to do anything right now. What you'd want to do right now is just pick it up, collect your 1050 right? After, you know, regular monthly estimates, okay? I believe we'll be spending six fifty one a month just to operate this, right? Repairs and maintenance, that's fifty two dollars. But don't think that every month I think Holton Wise is gonna go in there and do a fifty two dollar service call for you. No, it's not the case. That fifty two dollars, that's saving for things that we're going to have to do in your turnover. I keep talking about what I'm going to do to these bathrooms, right? Each of those bathrooms is probably about a $3,000 bathroom, right? So it's about six Gs in bathroom renovations, okay? But maybe these tenants stay for five years, 10 years. I don't know, but we're going to save $52 a month because I know when they do leave... We're going to need to do that to get that market rent. In addition, vacancy and non-payment. We're getting $1,050 a month right now. But this is rental real estate, guys. We don't collect rent 100% of the time. We don't have two units in our properties 100% of the time. So we are going to account for that because I know what's happening. If you're watching this, right, 
Don't think that just because the property should rent for X amount, it's going to 100% of the months you own it. That's not how real estate works, okay? We're going to get vacancies. We're going to have turnovers. We're going to have people who don't pay their rent. So we're going to account for that, right? We're calculating 52 bucks. So this money, you know, right there between the two, that's $104 is actually going back to you. It's going into your pocket every month. But I have not calculated it as income for the purposes of figuring out your return because that would be dumb because I know when we do do a turnover, you're spending six G's on bathrooms, right? I know eventually you're going to get a notice from Holton Wise like, hey, your tenant didn't pay rent. We're going to have to evict them. You know what I'm saying? So these are things that happen, right? In addition, similar to the same line of, uh, you know, uh, you know, same line of thinking here. Another $52 I want you to save is for CapEx. Now this is different. This is repairs, but different, right? This is not like the tenant, you know, Moved out, we uh, upgraded the bathroom, or this was broke, we did all this. No, this is different. This is our big ticket items that I know are going to happen. And this has nothing to do with the tenant. These are just things that are going to happen when you own a property. Like the roof, right? Probably $6,000 roof. It's going to last 30 years. We got a roof here that's probably mid to end of life. And then we're going to have to spend six Gs. And then on that roof, you don't just buy that roof and then that roof is just cool forever. No, man, every 30 years we're going to have to spend that again, right? Hot water tanks, mid to end of life on this property. We do not have new hot water tanks, okay? Hot water tanks, we're not going to do nothing to them now. We're going to buy it. We're going to collect our money because those hot water tanks work. But no, that it's coming. It's coming. You're going to get a service call. The hot water tank is going to go down and they're older, so you're just going to replace it. You're going to spend a grand. And you're going to be doing that about every 15 years, right? So things of that nature. That's what our capex. And the other stuff, you know, that's easy, right? Taxes, you understand that. Insurance, you understand you got to do insurance. By the way, we do insurance, right? I own a farmer's business, so we're able to quote you. So in the link below, I want you guys to send in your information. We'll quote you for this property. It should be about 60 bucks a month. Everybody else, send us in your information. You do not need to have a property with Holton Wise to get us to insure you. You do not need in the you do not even need to have a property in Ohio, okay? We are licensed coast to coast. We are licensed in many states, states where you're not currently licensed. We are getting licensed. We will be licensed in all 50 states eventually. So I don't know when you're actually watching this show. So uh, I might already be licensed in all 50 states to provide landlords insurance. So send us in your information and we will give you a quote. If we're not licensed in that state yet, we'll let you know uh, when we'll be able to assist, right? We have have farmers and we have a bunch of other appointments with other insurance companies that y'all never heard about right they're not like progressive or farmers or all state where they're on tv they don't got the dude like this is all state you know they don't got that dude right these are just business to business companies you ain't never heard of but we work with them so much and that's all we do is the the landlord stuff guys we're able to take your premiums and beat them down i'm sure the guy that insures your nice fancy house in the suburbs or your boat i'm sure that guy don't know as much about cleveland or other midwestern rental real estate as we do so we get you the low prices guys but back to the chart another thing water sewer you gotta pay for that that's gonna be 150 again that's me estimating what I normally expect to see out of a two-bedroom unit. So it might actually be lower, but I like to give you guys conservative estimates. If you're curious to know why you have to pay water sewer and why the tenants can't pay it, it's something that's unique to the Cleveland market. So if you go to holdwise.com, check out our property management fact. I've got the answer in there. It's a very long answer. It's like a whole page dedicated to it. So check that out. But it has to do with the way the water company works and the way that Ohio uh, landlord tenant law is written. Okay, so check that out. Back to the house, back to the chart, long care, 44 bones, PM hundo, right? That's that's how we got that 651. So I anticipate you're going to clear approximately 400 every month. But again, 156 of that's still going in your pocket, but know that big charges are coming, right? So with all that said, at my price, 60 grand, guys, this is an eight cap. And if you finance it, it's a 16.8% return on your money, right? Because the bank will loan you 45. You only got to put 15 into the deal. So, folks, let me know if this deal is more in line with what you wanted to do. Uh, if so, reply to the private email with the video, and we will move forward. I will try to negotiate that price. Of course, we'll make your offer contingent on a home inspection. And if anything outside 
uh, of the norm here comes up on that home inspection report, we'll either try to beat that price lower or we'll walk away from the deal or we'll even ask the seller to do repairs. But typically having the seller do repairs is not necessarily the best route, right? It's much better to get a price reduction and then just have Holton Wise do the repairs after the fact, right? Because you don't want a seller doing the repairs to, to secure the closing of a sale, right? Because they know they ain't going to own this some bitch no more. So they're going to try to fix it the cheapest way possible, which of course, you know, is not always the best way, right? So we'll try to get the value brought down. And when I say like, we'll have to renegotiate guys, I'm not talking like, cause we, we do this home inspection and we realize, oh, the furnaces are probably kind of old. Yeah, I know guys, it's baked into the cake. Why do you think I'm trying to pick it up at 60 G's for you, right? I know the hot water tanks are not going to be brand new, right? You ain't getting a brand new property. This is uh, an old rental property that's going to show some signs of wear. But what we're looking for is like major big ticket deal killers, like structural issues, right? I tell you right now, if that inspector goes in there and we have any evidence that there is a structural defect to the foundation of this home, boom, we're blowing this deal up, right? We ain't even going to move forward on the deal because it would be cost prohibitive for you to try to replace uh, a foundation wall on a property like this. The property, the real estate in these neighborhoods in Cleveland, guys, is so cheap. We'll just move on to another deal, okay? So let me know what you want to do. If this one doesn't work, you don't want to move forward with this, that's totally fine. Don't think you're obligated to do so. Just give me some feedback, and I will get back to the drawing board. We'll make some adjustments, and then I'll shoot you another video. Everybody else, this is the first time you ever watched Holton Wise TV. Do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is... Real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service, turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price-to-rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.